Hello everyone. So today I will be talking about how I used the book First Aid for the USMLE Step 1 for the preparation of NEET PG and INI exam. Okay. So a lot of people have been asking me why I am doing from First Aid, how did you do uh, preparation from First Aid. So I tried to include all of that in this particular video. Okay. So first of all, uh, I'll just tell why I went with first aid book. Okay, so that that is like everybody is asking what is special about first aid? Why did I go with first aid, right? So th the first thing that you need to know about first aid is that that book is like very concise, right? We have like around less than 1000, not 1000 actually, like around 800 pages almost we have uh, for the first aid book, right? So that considering the volume of almost 19 subjects, that is actually pretty concise note, okay? Like first aid is very concise. That is the first thing that you should know. And almost all the preclinical subjects are very well explained, especially physiology, pharmacology, pathology, and even the medicine part is very well explained, right? So that is why we will be able to get uh, even those uh, first year subject of biochemistry is also very well explained. So all these subjects you will be able to cover a lot of top uh, concisely. You will be able to cover from first aid if you do it from first aid. Okay. Uh, the things that you have to take care while reading first aid is that uh, first aid is like too much content is there in a very small book right so almost every sentence is important in first aid you are you cannot skip even a single sentence from first aid book you have to read every sentence and you should be thorough with every sentence in first aid okay because every sentence in first aid itself have been a question uh, previously and it can be a question it can be a potential question in future exams and there are particular questions which are like i have seen the those topics in first aid but i have never seen them in the revision videos okay so those things are actually particularly I have seen only in first aid. Like for example, a question on the uh, steps of change. We have a pre-contemplation stage, then a stage of contemplation, ideation, all those things. So those, though that is one particular topic which I have found in first aid and that has been a previous year question in INICET exam also, but that is not there in the revision note. Okay. In any, I have not seen it in any faculty uh, notes, any platform notes until that question was asked in one of the previous years. But in first aid, it was there even before that question was asked in the INI exam. That is one such example. There are multiple such examples uh, qu about questions which, which are not present in the revision platforms, but it is present in first aid. So that is why we are giving more stress to first aid so that we will be able to answer those questions. And the point about those questions is that not everybody will be able to answer those questions. Because it is not there in the main platforms, obviously everybody will not be able to know the answer to that question. Right. But a person who have read first aid will be able to answer that question. Right. And all the images which are given in first aid are very, very high yield images. You can't miss to not know any image in first aid. Every image is important in first aid. Okay. So the next question that comes to your mind about first aid will be when, sh when should I start using first aid? When should I do it? Right. So many people have been messaging me, uh, shall I start preparing from first aid for the upcoming INICET exam, right? Upcoming INICET is on November 10th and you just have 40 days uh, for the INICET exam. So that, will that be a good idea to start a new resource? Be it first aid or be it anything else, it is not a good time to start a new resource because the exam is very near and right now it is time for revisions, right? I had made a timetable in my previous video and I had shared it with you guys. So if somebody is following that, you can follow that or any other revision timetable is what you should be following right now rather than cramming through new resources. okay? To read first aid, you should at least have one year of time prior to exam. So if you are planning for any exam uh, up in the next upcoming year, right, the NEET PG 25 or the INI exam in July, then it is fine, you can go with first aid. But for the upcoming INI exam or in the December FMG exam, I would suggest not to go through first aid right now, okay? You will not be able to finish, that is the thing. Because the book is power packed and you need a little bit of time to read through the book and also you have to do revision now. Just going through the book is not, not enough, right? So that is why if you are preparing for the exams in the upcoming year, then definitely you can go through first aid, okay? Now the question is how to start using first aid, right? We have told when to start using first aid and why did I use first aid. Now, how can you start using first aid? So, first aid is actually, if you have gone through the book, you have seen that the chapters are arranged in system wise manner, right? It's a chapter will be on cardiovascular system, everything starting from the anatomy of the heart, physiology, then you have the pathologies of the cardiovascular system going to pharmacology of the cardiovascular system. And that is arranged in that manner only. All the uh, systems are arranged in that particular manner only. So, 
if you are planning to do, uh, make a timetable, a new timetable or a fresh timetable for the next year exam, if you are planning to integrate first aid, it will be nice if you can give a first trade in the system wise fashion rather than doing subject wise. Yeah, subject wise also you can make a timetable, it is fine. But if you are making the timetable in a system wise, for example, if you are giving one week for cardiovascular system and the next week for respiratory system, in that manner, if you are making a timetable, then you can add on first aid into that timetable very easily. Otherwise also you can do subject wise also because in first aid and top left corner of every page, the, sub the topic will be written down if it is from patho or pharma or physio or whatever it is. So if you are learning physiology, you can go through the physio part of every system, right? That is also possible. System wise also you can learn. System wise will be a much better approach of learning medicine uh, rather than doing subject wise. I have done both ways. So I can say that it is not difficult thing to do system wise. Okay. And the subjects that I followed religiously from first aid was physiology, patho, pharma, biochemistry, medicine, psychiatry and some portions of uh, PSM, especially the epidemiology part of PSM and statistics. It is very well given in, uh, in the first aid book. All the important surgical subjects you will definitely have to read through your main notes. You can't rely completely on first aid because surgical subjects are not well explained in first aid. Okay. And how did I read? So first of all, I read first aid and then keeping the first aid book open, I will be watching the revision video. I had told in my strategy video how I had uh, done my preparation, right? So I had told you that I had prepared my uh, uh, content from revision videos of various faculties or different faculty for different uh, different platforms or different subjects and i had concised all of these into either into the first aid book and and also into the med synapse by dr nikita so those were the last two books which i had the concise books during my revision right so for those subjects in, uh, which i had uh, completely relied on first aid were those subjects which i had just told you before physio pharma path those subjects I had completely relied on first aid. So whatever I read revision from revision notes, I'll be adding it into first aid only, not into med synapse. Okay. So I'll be first reading the first aid. Then I'll be turning on the video and I'll be keeping first aid in front of me and whatever she or he tells in the video, the faculty, I will be writing it down into my first aid. That is how I integrated and annotated topics uh, from the revision videos into first aid. And the thing is that in first aid, if you are doing going to the hard copy, a hard copy will be having very little space only. And since I my handwriting was very big and I was not able to concise everything into the hard copy book, uh, that is why I used soft copy and I had annotated using the good notes app. If your handwriting is small enough and you are able to write it, then you can write in hard copy. Otherwise, you can make a soft copy and later if you want, you can print it, right? Now, the last thing that I wanted to tell is to revise the first aid, how to do that. And that is a very important step in learning from first aid. You will be doing all these kind of annotations, adding images, adding notes from revision videos, so all those things you will be doing and you will be making the first aid very beautiful. But if you have not done proper revisions of that book, everything is going to be a waste only because you will not be able to recall those things. And first aid being a very concise and compact book, if you are not revising it, it is going to be a waste. Okay. So revision is the major key. All the annotations you try to finish it in the during the time of first read itself. Like you will be reading through the, um, I mean, you will be watching the revision videos and you will be writing down the contents into the first aid book and all those annotations, adding images, everything you have to uh, finish by the end of first read. Then when the revision starts, you will be using this book, solely this book. You will not be then going and watching revision videos and things. Revision video time is over in the first read itself. Then when you come to the actual revisions, you will be going through this book and if you are following my strategy then you will be going through this book and also the med synapse book which you made in this particular way itself so during the revision time you will be only having two books uh, two books on your table or if it is in your ipad just two books right you don't have to go through a go around read through every bits and papers right that is going to be time consuming and also you will be having that fomo that you have not done everything that is why we are already doing concising everything into the first aid book right so I had done actually three to four revisions of my first aid before the exam. So initial first revision, it will be very difficult because we are going through everything again. By the time you go to the second revision and the third revision and the fourth revision and all, you will be picking up uh, picking up that speed and you will, you will know like in this part of the book, this point is written down. And in this page, this particular point is there. You will be thorough, you will be that much thorough with the notes that it is very easy for you to go through first aid later. 
so that is on, only then you will be able to revise this book in the end otherwise the book will seem very big during the last two weeks of revision and all you will you will find it very difficult to read through first aid okay you should have at least three to four revisions of first aid prior to the examination at least you should have two revision that is a must okay now i'll just show you some pages of first aid which i have annotated on this left side you can see a uh, standard page from first aid regarding the topic is granulomatous inflammation and on the right side i have just added a page from my annotated first aid pdf and you can see all those images i have got from the revision video only so when i see the revision video for this i had watched dr preeti ma'am's videos uh, for pathology so she she had talk, uh, talked about all different kinds of named granulomas in that particular topic so that is not very well explained in first aid so i had taken photos from internet and i have annotated it myself into the first aid book so that next time when i read the topic of granulomatous inflammation i will get this particular topic this particular points which are not explained in first aid right so in this way only i have annotated every page of my annotated first aid if you have bought my annotated first aid course in telegram then definitely you, you would have seen you would you would have gone through my first aid right uh, if you are interested in getting my first aid uh, annotated Uh, if you want to join into that it is a premium group you can message me in instagram i will add you to the group okay so this is how you will be going through first aid as your source for the neat pg and ini preparation you have to do revisions of this book which is very very important and you should be properly annotating it so that the next time you will be reading it otherwise you will miss it out okay so i hope this video has been useful to everyone and I hope that next time when you start reading for state you know the importance of the book and you treat the book accordingly rather than considering it as every other resource it is a very powerful resource right I hope and wish everybody pass the upcoming exams and get to the other side so I'll be seeing you again with another video soon until then goodbye take care thank you